So if there was ever a crossover that could destroy the fabric of our universe, it's Among Us and Undertale. These are two games that have been memed to death over the years, now combined in a force that none of us are ready for. Innersloth just announced a brand new Cosmic Cube that celebrates some of the most popular indie games. This fun graphic blesses us with Castle Crashers, Celeste, Crypt of the Necrodancer, Untitled Goose Game, A Hat in Time, and Sans? As part of this cube, Undertale joins the party with a bunch of cosmetics inspired by characters from Toby Fox's game. And speaking of Toby Fox, here's his one and only comment on the news. You can now dress as Sans in Among Us. This is what the Sans costume looks like, which has everything you expect. The blue jacket, athletic shorts, and pink slippers. This exudes a powerful aura. But okay, why is this crossover even happening? Well, that's an easy answer. Money! By teaming up with some of the biggest indie games, Among Us can attract a new group of people who otherwise wouldn't have been interested in playing. Not only that, but this is a timed cube. It's only going to be around till February 2024, and then you'll never get the chance to be Sans ever again. This creates a sense of FOMO. By having it be a timed promotion, players will log in sooner rather than later because they don't want to miss out. I get the strategy. It's used all the time, but it's still kind of sucks. It'd be cool if this was a permanent addition to the game, but we can't have nice things. And at the end of the day, if you ever see some guy wearing the Sans costume while you're playing, just run. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.